Hey guys. Surprise, it's me. What you doing? Mm. Say hi when you come on. We're gonna make a little something different. Ugh. Can't sit in that chair. <clears throat> wow, I'm a mess. Mess. Hi, Linda. We're gonna make something different today, just for a change. Hi, Julie. What you guys doing? Hi, Kathy. Girl, I'm a mess. I've been out here working in the garage all day. I didn't even comb my hair before I went live. Hi, Neva. Hi, Zila. We're gonna do a little something different. Hi, Irene. What you guys doing? Hi, Christine. Hi, Ann. So we're gonna make a pumpkin for my front porch. Hi, Kathy. Kind of like the one you just saw Scott do that I made for him, the white ones, but this one's gonna be a different colored one. And I'm only gonna do one. Hi, Jill. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Beth. So I'm gonna do the bow first. It's gonna be a different kind of bow this time. Not like my little, uh, I did, Julie. That's what I'm getting ready to make. I'm, I saw his live and I thought everybody likes some pumpkin. And I wanted to make one for my front porch because I just decorated it. So I'm gonna make one for me right now. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. But I'm gonna make the bow first. Hi, Doris. Hi, Brett. Hi, Mary. So we're gonna make the bow first and it's gonna be, it's not gonna be like my door hanger bow. It's gonna be different. Hi, Sandra. I gotta get this wood out from underneath here though because this ribbon just doesn't like to slide on it. Thanks, Julie. I'm good, Arnetta, how are you? Yay, Patricia. Hit that, hit hit my face and then hit the three dots up top and it'll give you a notification when I go live so you don't miss it next time if you want. So I'm gonna make a bow first. I'm, I'm making a pumpkin for my front porch to match my welcome sign and my door sign that I made myself. And I'll show you guys, I'll show it to you guys after we make this pumpkin. Hi, Julie. So I'm gonna make this bow for my pumpkin. pumpkin. I know, Kathy, he couldn't believe. My nose is totally better, Lisa. I'm still on the antibiotics, but it's, ugh, it's like heaven, it's so much better. Thank you sp for sprinkling, Julie. Hi, Patricia. Can you see me making this bow? I may, might need to lower it a little bit, hold on. Ooh. That better? So we're gonna make the bow first, and then I'm gonna show you how I make them pumpkins. Yes, Charlotte, few more days. I'm so excited. Can't wait till you get here. I know, I wasn't gonna go on live, but I thought, I'm gonna, I've been decorating my porch and I thought I'm gonna do this pumpkin and I might as well do it live because you guys might wanna see how to make one. Patricia, are you the one messaging, messaging me about that? What I would do is I'd click it again and, and unfollow and then go back in and click it again and follow and maybe that'll fix that problem. Hi, Albert. Yes, I saw him, Julie. That's what made me think I want to make myself a pumpkin because I made him them white pumpkins. And now I need a pumpkin. So I'm going to make me a pumpkin right now. <clears throat> I wasn't going to go live, but I thought, well, they might want to know how to make these pumpkins. So I'm just going to make it with you guys today. So right now I'm making my bow for my pumpkin for my front porch. And then we're going to make the pumpkin. I already cut it out, so it doesn't take that long. Thank you, Shirley. Hi, Tammy. Okay, so I got my name, my uh, denim blue on the bottom. Thanks, Christine. Thanks, Kathleen. Yeah, these are really easy if you guys know how to use just a simple saw. Hi, Alicia. <clears throat> so, I started with, this is going to be a 12-inch bow. So I did six inches on each side. Now I'm going in with my second color, which is gonna be about five and a half inches. Yeah, I know, Julie, it's, it's fun. I love making stuff, different stuff. It's fun. Hi, Deborah. So this, this 
strand right here is five and a half inches. We're going down a half inch each time. Oh, you got your cocoa cup today? Awesome. Charlotte, it's gonna be so much fun, girl. So this is five and a half inches. This one. And we'd put two loops on each side. Hit the follow and it will come up for the notifications. Turn on all lives. Yes, Albert. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Shirley. Happy Saturday. Okay, so we're going to make this bow, and then I'm going to show you how to make them pumpkins that Scott just did. On his, the white pumpkins, but mine's not going to be white. I know, Lisa, it was horrible. My nose, it, was, it hurt so bad. Hi, Tammy. Thanks, Gail. All right, so that's my second color. So this is the same as Scott's bows. I just do mine a little different. Hi, Virginia. Next, we're gonna go in with the leopard. Leopard print. Just put you all over the falls. Thank you, Lisa. And this one's gonna be about five inches. So we started with six inches on the blue, five and a half inches on the orange, and this one's gonna be five inches. Hi, Debbie. And they're all two loops on two loops on each side. Oh, thanks. My shirt, Joanne. I can't see. Love Scott's front gates. The white pumpkins are yes, I love those white pumpkins. I made those for him last year and he didn't use them. Oh, Beck must be on here. She's tagging stuff for me. Oh, awesome, Mary. Craft show sounds fun. <clears throat> All right, so this one's five inches. Hold on, I'm messing myself up now. There, lowered. Hi, Beck. What's up? <clears throat> okay, so now this <clears throat> something in my throat. This black and white's gonna be uh, four and a half inches. Sprinkle for me, guys, so I can grow my page if you would. I appreciate it. Thanks, Beck. <laughs> I got this shirt at Walmart. It's funny. Walmart's clothes, guys. Have you noticed? Walmart's clothes is getting better. I've been liking a lot of their clothes, and I used to not like Walmart stuff. Lately, they've had a lot of cute clothes out. Okay. We got our black and white on there. Thank you, Joanne. And then we're gonna top it off with some of this. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. Whatever it's called. This is what we're gonna use on the top. And then a little orange. Hi, Myona. So the top one's only gonna be two loops, one on each side. I'm trying to match the ones out on my porch, but I have a real pretty, na or not navy, um, Blue jean, blue ribbon out on my porch, but it ran out. 3107, that's awesome, Albert, I'm growing. And I ran out, so I can't match it, which is a bummer, but this will be close enough. Yes, Gail. Okay, so that's my top, and then we're gonna go in and end it with this orange 5 8 which I love. So we'll put this on top, and this just be one loop just like a center loop. It's gonna be a big bow. All right, let me get my pipe cleaner. What you guys doing today on this Saturday? Hi, Debbie. Oh, I love that top ribbon. Isn't it cute? I love it. You guys should go check out his website before it closes on Monday because he got a bunch of new ribbon and it's awesome. Amazing. You did, Nancy? Yeah, I, I got a bunch of tops from Walmart this year. I used to not like their, their clothes at all, but their tops are getting cuter. Okay, so now we're going to spread this thing out.
what you guys doing today? It's hot here today, but it's nice. I made some greeting cards today and worked this morning. You did, Julie? A mile long yard sale? Oh my gosh, that sounds fun. I love going to yard sales. I haven't been able to do it in a while, but I love it. Okay. So, let me fix this boat, and then we're gonna make our pumpkin. Let me cut my little tails here. I always cut my tails after, I don't know why. I think I just, I just like to know what size they're gonna be whenever I'm cutting them right then. Thank you, Lynn. I know, Julie, I wasn't gonna go live, but I was decorating my front porch, and I thought, I wanna make myself a pumpkin for my front porch. Yeah, everybody's surprised to see me today. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna make it, I might as well make it on live so they can see how I make it, and they might wanna make them one. It's the ones that Scott just put on his, in front of his gates that I made them, the white ones. I'm making me one now. So that's what we're doing. Thanks, Barbara. I, I, I wish I still had some of my blue pumpkin ribbon. I'll show you when we get to my front porch. I ran out. Picture framing and worked on cutting mats for someone's picture. Well, that's nice, Shirley. So I ran out of my blue pumpkin ribbon, which I love, but this will match good enough, I think. But I'm gonna show you what I made on my front porch after we do this pumpkin. It's nothing special, but. Okay, let me poop this out and then we'll make our pumpkin. You do nice work, thank you for sharing. Shared following you, thank you. I'm not supposed to say shared, darn it. Thanks, Rose. I don't know why, but just not supposed to for some odd reason. Don't make no sense to me, but you know. Okay, so there's my bow. Now we're gonna make our pumpkin to match this. So, I already cut out my pumpkin. Let me get rid of this ribbon before I get paint all over it. Hold on. I wasn't prepared, guys, because I wasn't really gonna go live, but I thought I'm gonna go live. So let me move this. All right, so I already cut, up my, cut out my pumpkin. <clears throat> all I did was, you, you guys probably can't see it. Let me put you down a little farther. Sorry. Hi, Patricia. Thanks. Let me see. Hopefully, I don't flip you guys out of this holder again like I always do. I, I need a different stand. This thing just don't go how I want it. Can you see that now? There you go. So, I already cut out my pumpkin. And this right here, all this wood is, is you could use um, pallets if you can pull them apart. I can't, so I don't use pallets. This is just dog ear fence, dog ear fence wood. That's what I use for all my welcome signs. Hi, Barbara. So I laid four boards out on, on the floor and I just drew my pumpkin shape with a marker. And then I took my jigsaw and just cut it out, which it was a real simple cut out. Okay. Hi, Cindy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint each one of these boards. Scott's are all white. I'm going to paint each one of these boards a different color. Then I'm going to put them all together and then I'm going to put my stem on and turn it over, I'm gonna put it on my porch. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this real quick. Thanks, Lisa. So my first board right here is gonna be orange. And I'll show you in a minute what I'm trying to um, um, match. It's on my porch. So when we get it done, we'll take it out there and I'll show you what's on my porch. So we're gonna paint this one orange. So when you do these, you wanna paint the inside too. Because sometimes after you screw them together, they separate. So you don't wanna see just the bare wood. So I paint the inside as well. And this is how I do my tall welcome signs too, guys, pretty much. So we're gonna paint the inside and the outside. Doesn't have to be perfect, because I like rustic. Do you have a pattern for this? I do not, but if you want to paint, a, make, cut out a pumpkin, I can tell you how I do it. So usually I'll take my silhouette and I will make a pumpkin on my silhouette and then I will cut it out of cardstock the size I want it. So you know how your, um, your cameo and your silhouette glue things are only like 12 by 24? Well, I might have to cut it out twice and piece it together and tape it together to get my pumpkin the way I want it. Then I lay my paper pumpkin 
on my board and I draw it on there and then I cut it out with a jigsaw. So you could use any pumpkin you see on the internet. Just a plain pumpkin with nothing extra on it. Yeah, and scotchpaint.com, if, if you like Dixie Bell, which is my favorite paint, you can get it at Stigots at scotchpaint.com. And she will be at the Crafters Convention, too. Um, she'll have a booth at the Crafters Convention, the lady that I always buy my paint from. So, do you sand your boards? Do you sand your boards because I have the rough fence boards? No, this is rough, but I, I don't sand them because I like it rustic, so that's why I don't sand them. Hi, Ellen Wellen. I'm doing a pumpkin. I changed my mind, girl. Okay, so that one's gonna be orange. We're gonna set that one to the side. Oh shoot, I forgot to get water. Hold on. Okay. The next one is gonna be that blue jean blue. Thanks for sharing on how to do that. No problem, Cindy. Love the color, yeah. That's Florida orange from Dixie Bell. This is Yankee blue from Dixie Bell, and this is my favorite color. It looks like blue jean, and I love it. So we're gonna do the next board, this blue jean color. Ugh, maybe, oh man, maybe, hold on. Oh my goodness, I got it, ugh, jeez, that was rough. Okay, so this board's gonna be blue. And I got paint in my hair, that's all right, it'll come out. So this board's gonna be blue. Look at that. It looks like blue jean. I love this blue. It's amazing. I love to watch you. You're so real. Thanks, Jane. I know, Shirley. I love this blue. It's my favorite. I love this blue jean color. And it's so in this year for fall. This blue jean color. And I look, I don't, I don't paint at all. I leave that stuff because I like rustic. So I leave it like that on purpose. I have the denim of pumpkin ribbon. Yep. Oh. Who is that, Ellen Wellen? You do, Ellen Wellen? I made a bow if I don't like, bring it tomorrow. I made a bow if I don't like it, then I might use a little bit of yours. Bang top of flat surface. Yeah, I need to do that. I usually do to get my paint thing open. Okay, so now we're gonna paint the top, but I want it rustic, so I'm gonna leave some of the, brent, the, the wood showing through. So you just do it, you know, sparingly. Darker spots in some spots and not in some, some spots. And I just leave some of that wood showing because I like rustic. So that's what we're going to do. So there's my blue. I'm going to leave it like that. I've packed it already to bring tomorrow. Okay, Ellen. Okay, so this one is going to be tan because we're going to do leopard print on this one. It's going to be awesome. So we're going to paint this one tan. And I'm just, just using this apple barrel because I can't get the lid off of my burlap in Kurt's not home. So we're going to use this apple barrel color tan. Hi from California, Judy. I got paint in my hair. I'm a mess, guys. Do your sides. Top. You don't have to do the back because you're not going to see it. And I'm leaving some of the wood show because I like, I like that. You don't have to, but I just like it that way. Me too, Becky Jones. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's paint this tan. I'm just making a simple pumpkin for my front porch to match my decorations, guys. If you're just hopping on out of wood, out of just pallet wood. Okay, so there's my tan. Letting some of that show through because I like the wood look. And then this one's gonna be off-white. So this is my fourth one, it's gonna be off-white. So let me move this stuff over so you can see me paint it. I gotta mess you off. All right, so this one's gonna be off-white. And this is not Dixie Bell either, because I'm just not gonna waste my Dixie Bell on this pumpkin for the front porch. This is my first crafters convention. I'm so excited. I can't wait. My first one, well, First crafters convention. I went to one in Louisiana at the beginning of the year, but this is my first crafters convention. Hi, Joan. So this one's gonna be off-white, guys. 
And this is just a simple project that doesn't have to look perfect if you got some wood laying around. And it turns out super cute. So I don't want to cover it all because I want, hi Vicki, I don't want the wood to show through. Okay. Now, oh shoot, I dropped it. Okay, now I'm going to dry it because I'm going to need to flip it back over so I can screw the pieces together. So let me get my heat gun out. The level of fun is going to be off the charts. Yep, I cannot wait. Ugh. Okay, let me get my lid on there. Did you add water when you was painting the tan? I did not. Nope. But this was, that's because I didn't use Dixie Bell in the tan. It'll be my first time too, Lisa. If I was using Dixie Bell, I would add a little water because it makes your paint go farther. Okay, so let me... Let me dry these real quick because I need to flip them over. My ribbon's getting in the way. Guys, I've been out in the garage all day. Well, not all day. Me and Ellen Mom went to Michael's today. And I got some new paint brushes. And then we've been in the garage all day. What you guys been doing today? Okay, I gotta get this tan one pretty, um, pretty dry because I'm gonna leopard print on top of the tan one. So, this one's gotta be pretty dry. The rest don't have to be that dry. So this is the most boring part, guys. Sorry, I gotta get it dry. So this is just something a little different today to get off the subject of door hangers. If you put saran wrap on the paint jars, I know somebody told me that, Diane, I gotta do that. Or when I get my new paint, which is coming, I need to bring me a wet wash rag out here and wipe the inside and the outside of the lid before I put the lid on it every time. Cause I don't do that, cause I'm messy. I'm not a messy person, but when I'm painting, I can get messy. Almost dry. Step by step learning, that's the best. Right, Sherry. Hey, Jane. How are you? All right, so let me run over here and get my stencil I made real quick. Hold one second. So this is the, sil this is the cameo. Um, sticky paper that I was telling you about. Yeah, I can use a wet wipe before I put the lid on. That's a good idea. So I'm going to take it over here real quick and take it off the sticky thing. I'll be right back. All right. So here's what it looks like when I take it off the my sticky paper. See that? I keep baby wipes close by to clean off my paint jars. Good idea. Does a great job on explaining how to do things. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my camera up a tiny bit just so I can see you guys while I'm doing the stencil. So here's what my stencil looks like when I bring it out of the of the um, silhouette machine. Sometimes I have to pull some of these off because it doesn't cut all the way through. So let me do that real quick. Hold, please. Oh, it takes a sec. All right, I think I got them all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, my orange and blue and my white one out of the way and I'm just gonna paint on my tan one. So I'm gonna put the leopard print on the tan. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I might have to turn my fan, hold on. So it don't blow everywhere. Aren't you glad I told you about the craft heat gun? Yes, Albert, I love that thing. All right, so now let me get a stencil brush. Guys, I would have had all, all this on my table, but I, I didn't know I was gonna li go live until I just did it. So I'm kind of not prepared, like always, but I'm getting there. All right, 
So since this is so big and I don't have anywhere to tape it to keep it on there, I'm just gonna hold it on there myself. And I'm gonna do it, my leopard print in black. And I'm not gonna worry about how good it looks because it's just gonna go on my porch. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm not gonna make it real, the black real full like I usually do. I'm just, you know, going over it just to get the leopard look. So I'm not worried about how full it looks this time because it's not a nice door hanger. It's just a pumpkin I'm just gonna set on my porch. So I'm just gonna go over these quickly. So I hold my paper down as I'm going because I didn't tape it. Where do you get the craft heat gun? It, it's on Amazon and it was only like $22. It was awesome. It was an awesome steal. And it works really good. It works better than the hair dryer because it's got really hot heat. It's got a low and a high, but don't touch the end because I burnt the crap out of my hand using it the other day because I grabbed it by the metal part, which is not smart, but it works really good. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it sparingly. I'm not covering every inch of the black because I don't care how good it looks. Hey, Re Raina, hey, Raina. I had to stop myself. So I'm just putting this leopard print on here real quick, just quick, so it's not gonna look perfect, but I don't care. I don't really like perfect, guys. I'm an imperfect person. I know I should, should like perfect, but I don't. And it's not as loud, yes. It's really, it's really quiet. For as well as it works, it's really quiet. My hair dryer was loud. You couldn't hear nothing. So see how fast I'm doing this? This does not have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get all of them a little bit. Some's lighter, some's darker, it don't matter. So I made Scott's pumpkins white but this one's gonna be a little wilder. I kind of like wild. Almost done with this part. All right, let's take it off. She went on fire. Look at that. That looks good. Not supposed to look perfect, so it's, per it's perfect to me. All right, let me get rid of this paper. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it, all the boards upside down the way they're supposed to be. So I'm going to put my orange over here and we're going to go backwards. My blue next to it. Then my leopard. And then my white. Right, Julie. It's not supposed to be perfect when it's handmade. I don't like perfect. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I cut two boards just a little shorter. What I did was I put my pumpkin, pumpkin together. The name of the dryer is, let me show you. You'll have to write it down or screenshot it. See that? F-U-J-I-W-A-R-A, -A, that's what it's called. It was like 22 bucks. So, I put my pumpkin together. I'm gonna put my two boards on it. These are what's gonna hold it together. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my screw gun and my screws. So hold on. Here's my screws. Here's my screw gun. Okay, let me take this. Oh dang, it's dead. Hold on. Darn it. See, I told you I wasn't prepared for this. All right. So I'm gonna take this out. And put this one in. Alright. So now I'm going to screw this together so this pumpkin stays together. So that's what we're going to do real quick. I can't wait to do the boards I got. I just got to order the paint from Scott. Refuse to use any other. Me too, girl. I don't even like the apple barrel anymore since I started using the uh, Dixie Bell. It's horrible. Join late. We are making a pumpkin for my front porch out of wood. 
the, this pumpkin is, let me tell you how tall it is, hold on. And you can make it bigger or smaller. I just grabbed it and cut this just really quick. So this one's 18 and a half inches tall and 21 wide. So it's a good size, but you can make them a lot bigger if you want to. So you're just putting these in here to hold the planks together. This is how I make my welcome signs, guys. This is how I do the back of them to hold them together. You're welcome, Joanne. Ooh, that cracked. No, it's not even hitting, darn it. Hold on. Let me fix it. Heat gun. Oh, Albert posted the heat gun that I bought. <clears throat> I need a longer screw. It's barely catching it. Hold on. Let me get a longer screw. These are a little longer. Yep, Joanne. These, I mean, don't even have to be, these don't have to be perfect. You can just cut it. Hey girl, hey Tanya. It's a pumpkin, so you know, it don't have to be perfect. Just going on my front porch. I'll probably be the only one even seeing it. Except you guys. <clears throat> out of the way okay so now we're gonna put our stem on which he's a little long I don't like it that long let me cut this off real quick it's too long So now we're going to just screw this on as well. What you guys doing? This is our stem. Oh, it cracked again. Darn it. All right. That's good. All right. So that's what our pumpkin looks like so far. Any cute? Check that out. So now I'm gonna paint the stem green real quick. Um, I think I'll just use this dark green. Hi, Mary. Whew, it's hot. Grab me a brush. So I'm gonna paint this, this stem green. Our bow's gonna cover some of the stem, so. I just want to get some of it painted. I want it rustic looking, so it's not going to be perfect. Thanks, Linda. See how I left it not all the way painted? That's the way I want it. I like it like that. Rustic. Girl power. Are there any tools you can't use? Oh, Gail, there's a bunch, I'm sure. All right. Let's see. Are you gonna put these on your website? No, because they're these are really heavy. Look, look how thick that is. These are really heavy. Hi, Don. I'm good. How are you? Um, and they'll be too they'll be too heavy to ship. You guys would pay have to pay too much to ship these. It it, it would suck. Thank you for sprinkling, Cindy. Okay, so here's what our pumpkin looks like. I'm gonna put my bow on and then I'm gonna take it out on the front porch and show you what I was trying to match. So let me grab my bow. Oh, I should have made a bow with tails, darn it. I wasn't thinking. 
that's all right. This will look fine. So, um, how do I want to attach my bow? I think I'm going to drill two holes in the, in the stem and put my pipe liner for that. So, hold on one sec. take it to the front porch and I'll show you what I was trying to match which I think it matches pretty good even though I didn't have the same ribbon I didn't have any left I think it still matches pretty good so I just drilled my holes I'm gonna show you see I drilled my two holes through the stem see that and I just stuck my bow through there and I'm gonna twist it so that's how I'm gonna keep my bow on I could add tails to it. I think it's all right without it. I wanted tails, but I think it looks good without it. I think we'll be all right. Let me fix my bow, and then I'll show it to you, and then I'll take you out to the front porch and show you what I was trying. See, you can't even barely see the stem. Just poking through a little bit. So let me take you guys off here. Don't get sick. See, dang it, I drop it every time. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let me turn around my camera. All right, oh, look at my mess on the floor, guys. I've been working today. Sorry, it's a mess around here. All right, so, look at all this wood I got cut to put out for next week. See all that? That's a lot. Sorry, ouch. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I was trying to copy. Mm, I don't know where I want to put this. I think I'm going to put it right here. Okay, well, let me show you. I think I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, so there's my... Oh, you can't see it with the screen door. There's my scarecrow. See the eyes? You can see the eyes now. I cut his hair a little better. See that? So there's my scarecrow. Okay. There's my welcome sign that I was trying to match. This is that blue... The, that blue I was telling you about. I love that ribbon. So there's my welcome sign that I was trying to match. See that pumpkin? That's what I've been trying to match. I've been busy. So that's what I was trying to match. And there it is. I think it matches pretty darn good. Don't you think? I know, Rita, I don't never slow down, girl. It matches pretty good to that one. I think. And then here's the flower I made. Oh, here's my pillow I got on Amazon to match. Isn't that the cutest? I do have a CNC machine, Rose. I still cut a lot of, a lot out by hand, though. And there's my flower I made for my porch. Isn't that cute? So here's what it looks like all together. I gotta turn you around to show you. Oh, nope, it won't let me do that. Nope, not allowed, hold on. Okay, so there's my flower and my pillow, and there's the pumpkin we just made. And then I was trying to match that welcome sign that I made. Isn't that cute? And my scarecrow has the same ribbon on it as my pumpkins. Isn't that cute? So that's what I did. <laughs> Can I get the whole setup, please? So that's what I was trying to do. So that's how you make them pum pumpkins. They're really easy, right? It wasn't hard at all. And it took, what, 10, 15 minutes? So that's how you make the pumpkins. You could put the bow lower if you wanted to. If you wanted to see the stem more, you could put the bow lower if you wanted to. Blue and orange is awesome this year. So that's, oh, and I got my garden flag off Amazon and it matches too, isn't it cute? Hi, Penny. So that's my porch that I worked on today. And that's the pumpkin we just made, which was super cute, super easy. So, that's how you make them pumpkins, y'all. It was really easy. Thanks, Julie. Ooh, let me show you this. There's the cow. It's gonna have little attachable with Velcro, different things on it, like this one up here. See that one? 
So that tree will come off. It has Velcro on the back, and it'll come off, and you can put a heart, and you can put an Easter egg, and all kinds of stuff on there. That's going to be awesome. So that's going to come out probably next. Mine are better, Scott. Well, that's because I made them, Scott. Ha. Huh. Funny, funny. He said mine are better. Did you get any more ghosts cut out? No. She wants the whole setup. All right. Oh, let me turn my camera back on. All right, guys. That's all I got for you. I just wanted to show you how to make them pumpkins in case you guys wanted to make one. Real easy. Any kind of old wood. Just screw them together on the back and paint them. Super easy. Put a bow on top and that's it. All right, guys. I'll probably be back tomorrow night to paint another new door hanger. Hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you later. Bye.